Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the best podcast channel on YouTube. Today, we're going to be reading a book called Canada's Trees. Chapter 4, Spruces. Like most conifers, a spruce tree has one straight trunk growing tall up to the sky. Native spruces also have short needles, small, plump cones, and thin, scaly bark. Their branches usually go straight and horizontal. Most spruces have shallow roots. Because of this, they can grow in northern Canada, where where there's only a thin layer of soil that doesn't stay frozen all year. As well, spruces don't need full sun to grow well. Sitka spruces are the tallest conifers in Canada. Many grow 55 meters high and can live for 800 years. You find them in British Columbia and they're named for the area of Alaska where they also grow. Did you know that the tallest tree in the country is a Sitka spruce? It's called the Carmina Giant and it soars 95 meters tall. That's taller than a 30-story building and it may be the tallest spruce in the world. Whoa, that's tall. Because Sitka spruces are so tall, their branches are spaced far apart up the tree. Fewer branches mean fewer knot holes in the timber, which makes for better, stronger wood. That's why, during the Second World War, air freight airplanes were made from Sitka spruce wood. With their thin, scaly bark, spruce trees are easily damaged in fires. Because of their shallow roots, Spruces can be knocked over or broken by strong winds. Three spruces are provincial trees. The white spruce represents Manitoba, while the black spruce is Newfoundland and Labrador's provincial tree. Nova Scotia's provincial tree is the red spruce. Animals appreciate spruce trees. Porcupines nibble on their bark, and birds and mice snack on their buds and seeds. Many animals huddle under their branches. Others shelter high in the crown or top of the tree, where the branches may grow close together. Animals need trees. Trees provide food, shelter, and home for insects. Birds and other animals, almost every part of the tree can be food for animals. Bark, buds, cones, fruit, leaves, seeds, and shoots. Spruce wood is used in construction, building homes, and to make boxes and musical instruments. No other native Canadian trees produce as much lumber. It's also broken down into fiber to make pulp for paper. As well, spruce wood is used for crates and baskets that hold food because it has almost no taste or smell. Chapter five, birches. When you think of birch trees, You might probably think of their bark. Not every birch has papery bark, but they all have horizontal markings on their trunks. To to hear more about birches, stay tuned for part four coming out next Tuesday. If you haven't already, go subscribe and smash that like button. Also remember to hit that little notification bell to be notified every time I post. Science out!